What's up, gang? It's Elijah from Elijah Kicks. We back here with another video. Today we are here chilling. We in Mexico right now, chilling. Yeah, but right now, shit. Basically, the topic of the day is the pros and the cons of being an entrepreneur. Um, after I think I got maybe three. I built about three or four different six-figure businesses. Elijah's Kicks, seven-figure business. Elijah Jewelry, six-figure business. Um, damn, what the business do I have? The, the Afro Bros Detailing, that's on pace to do six figures. Um, Club Paradise, I made over 8000 a month off that business. Um, I mean, Russia, I mean, it's not six figures yet. I mean, I, I've been inconsistent with that one, but I, I, I'm i pretty sure I built, built one more. I gotta go do my research on this, but, you know, basically, I, like, when it comes to the pros and cons of being an entrepreneur and, and, and running multiple six-figure businesses, sometimes seven-figure businesses, it's like, I just want to talk to y'all about the pros and the cons, give y'all these five pros, five cons, and it's like, um, one thing is, that I really just recently started to analyze, just recently started to notice is um, I kind of don't like retail. Running retail businesses really isn't it. Honestly, I believe everybody should have a service-based business to where you're running a, a nine to five type of business, especially if you're a youthful, if you're young, if you're, you're active. I believe that you should be running a, a nine to five type of business versus, um, I mean, you should, you if you want, you can have a retail business or an online uh, e-commerce business, anything that you want like that. For sure, for sure, go do it. But I think in the meantime, you need a business that's going to be like a job. And for me, that's why I'm, I'm making Afro Bros because I'm starting to analyze. I'm like, bro, I have a lot of free time. And when you have a lot of free time, um, shit, you're going to spend money sometimes. So it's like, shit, to save money... I built up the Afro Bros on pace to do fourteen thousand a month. I'm um, starting, and yeah, right now we're really building that up. Right now, shit, I just got the truck like two weeks ago. I'm gonna do a couple videos on that. We're gonna talk about how how easy it is to start a detailing business or how hard it is. We ran into a couple errors, a couple things, but honestly, I think that business gonna be very lucrative, very successful. But today, I want to get y'all five pros and five cons of of um, basically being a business, especially when it comes to um, retail. So with retail, my only issue is when it comes to retail, it's like, if you go sell a million dollars worth of inventory and you're running a, a retail business to where it's like you, you're used to having on-hand inventory, um, you have to go buy the inventory back. So no matter what your profit margins are, let's say, you have 30% profit margins, boom. Um, I just made 300,000 off of the million. Now I gotta go um, re-up, boom, I re-up. Now um, I gotta go spend 700,000. And it's like, it's annoying and stuff with taxes and shit, cause now shit, the IRS, they want at least 20%. Shit, if you got a good tax person, so shit, yeah, you just sold a million dollars, but shit, what, you get to pocket 270? So that shit ain't no money. Two hundred seventy thousand dollars. Shit, you can go get. You can make that with a fucking job. I mean, it's not a lot of jobs. Sometimes I'm a little bit um, inconsiderate. I'm a little ignorant to where it comes to people's real income and stuff because, like I said, I've been a six-figure entrepreneur for eight years at this point. So I, I built up and I scaled different businesses. I, I I dealt with different flows, and it's honestly like, bro, I just I really don't enjoy retail as much it's starting to start feeling like i'm running in place and um yeah shit. it's just cuz shit it, it's just different like shit when you have a hundred thousand dollars a month you like damn yeah i made a hundred thousand this month but what am i really pocketing and it's just like it, it give you a different outlook give you a different opinion on life it give you a different opinion just on everything for real and it's just like boom that's that's the con number one um con number two um Shit, honestly, finding the right time to, to, to figure out if you need to hire somebody or not. Trusting people, 
Um, trusting people is a bitch, especially when you're in retail with luxury items like myself. I've been in uh, luxury retail for five years or four years at this time. Um, and honestly, all my friends who have brick and mortar stores, honestly, it's so hard for them to find good employees because shit, people always stealing, especially when you have items that are two, three, four hundred, five hundred, a thousand. Shit, sometimes fifteen thousand other items. Shit, a lot of times shit go missing. It's like it's hard and shit, especially with some insurance companies. You get high deductibles and shit. So it's like shit. Yeah, somebody just stole something that was fifteen thousand, but shit, I gotta go pay five thousand for a fucking um a deductible, or somebody just stole something that was three thousand, but shit, I got five thousand dollar deductible, so I can't even really report that. Cause what what's the point of it? And it's like shit like that. It's like um especially if shit. I'm not not to get too political, but shit, if you live in, in some democratic states, if somebody can walk in your store and take your shit, and you can't even point a gun and kill them because it's like you can't even threaten them because now you're trying to hurt somebody over materialistic shit, and then you can go to jail for that. Now now you're the one that might go to jail for a crime versus the person that's actually walking your shit and just boom ganging your shit and taking your shit. So it's like all these politics and stuff. You gotta be more aware of, of, of politics when you become really a, um, a lucrative businessman because everything everything has to do with politics. And it's like, as much as people hate it, I try to ignore it, but it's like everything really does have to do with politics and stuff. And I'm not Republican, I'm not Democratic. I actually choose not to vote, but I'm very cautious. I'm very conscientious with what, what I let people say around me because a lot of people will be like, no, I love Biden, this, this, that, da, 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 Trump's an asshole, whoop, whoop, whoop. And I just, I make them more aware of why why certain people do fuck with this person, why certain people do fuck with this person. It's like, in this generation, we're so taught right and wrong, and this is the right person that we need to vote for, and this is the wrong person we need to vote for. And I really don't believe either, or I feel like there's no such thing as right and wrong when it comes to opinionated things and opinionated subjects. And at the end of the day, it is what it is. But, boom, con three of running um, seven-figure retail businesses. Um... Honestly, it's, um, shit. When it comes to online retail, if you're running an online retail business, it's annoying dealing with chargebacks. It's annoying dealing with PayPal. It's annoying, shit, doing a big transactions and you have to go through PayPal and, and PayPal withholding 60% of your funds, 50% of your funds and stuff like that. Man, that's, that should be bullshit, bro. Honestly, I know so many small businesses that are getting crushed by just, PayPal, Shopify, holding on people's funds and, and just fucking people over, bro. And it's like, yeah, eventually they're getting their funds, but three, four months down the road, like, fuck you. Like, as a small business, we need that money to go be able to bust our plays, go buy the inventory sometimes, do what we need to do. And it's just like, when you get put in positions like that, bro, honestly, you get, you get fucked. And it's like, you're the only person that's getting fucked on that. And yeah. The con number four, um... Um, shit. Con number four. Um, if you're running a brick and mortar, um, retail business, you're honestly them near tied down to your business for the first two to three years. You honestly really can't travel a lot sometimes, unless you have a a hundred percent business partner. That's gonna be con number five. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Um, you can't travel a lot of shit. A lot of times you got to watch your store. You got to be really hands-on while you're building and structuring everything. Because I hear this a lot every single day from everybody I know that owns a store. Um, nobody's going to make those sales like you. Nobody's going to have the responsibility like you do. Uh, business is not going to be the same when you're not in there yourself. And that I hear that a lot from a lot of small businesses and stuff. But, yeah, and then, boom, that takes us to con number five. Con, what's con number five? Con number five is... It's extremely hard to trust people. Um, shit, it's, it's kind of go back to two, um, but shit, when when you have a business a business partner, that's that's kind of number five. Like having a business partner and stuff is like, I know so many people, so many, so many people. Damn near everybody I know that runs a business with a partner. Eventually, they get fucked, and it's like, it's terrible, bro. Like shit, I heard um shit the shoe store round one. I heard they, um, them they were going through. I don't, I don't believe it was them. It might have been them. It might have been somebody else. One of the major business partners, one of the major owners, bro, took a lot of consigners' money and just started, shit, um, intriguing in his, in his, um, 
this fucking addiction shit. He just started going crazy and shit with whatever drugs he was addicted to. Shit, spent a lot of money on parties, spent a lot of money on bottles, and shit, fucked it up and made the business bad for everybody. It's like, shit, who, who really takes that loss at the end of the day? Shit, whoever, whoever is the other partner and shit and trying to keep a good reputation for their business, they, they're the person that gets fucked. It's like, honestly, bro, uh, everything is glamorized in this life now. Everything is like... Boom, I'm better than you, my life is better than you, this is that, da, 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 da. and everybody always sell these facade, everybody always selling these courses, and honestly, it's just pure bullshit, because it's like, it's good and it's bad to everything, it's good and it's bad to having a job, it's good and bad to running businesses, it's good and it's bad to everything, and I feel like I just wanted to voice my opinion on a couple of the cons, and now it's time to start talking about the pros, a lot of people do know the pros, these is told to you every day on these fucking podcasts and bullshit like that, and, and uh, on these courses, and yeah, you have the freedom to do this, this, that, I don't know. Yes, you do eventually build build up to be able to have the own freedom and luxury to go be able to enjoy your life and do what you want to do with your life. But at the end of the day, it's like, um, I mean, that is a great freedom shit. That is the only freedom in life. The only real freedom in life is to, to have the freedom to go do what you want when you want to and, and really have the... Um, the time for yourself, the time to think, the time to, to, to worry about yourself. Shit, that's the greatest freedom. And yeah, eventually you do get the freedom. Uh, pro number two, um, bro, you get to network with so many people. Honestly, that's the only reason why I'm able to pick up any business I, I, I think about and go, shit, make 10, 20, 50, $30,000 a month, $100,000 a month with any business I ever wanted to because of the network and the people that I was able to meet and the circumstances that I was able to meet people and that people were able to feel me out as a very genuine person. Um, that's one of the only reasons why I'm able to pick up so many different businesses. Honestly, when it comes to running businesses that are retail, that's one of the greatest pros is the people that you meet. People are such a beautiful tool. It's just such a, a, a great thing. When you, when you learn how to um, really be able to just um, network with people, really build these genu genuine relationships. Yeah. Um, number three, um, honestly, shit, just like eventually you're going to win. You're going to win, shit. You're going to be able to drive that car that you want. You're going to be able to get to the house that you want. You're going to be able to do whatever that you want and shit. And it's like, yeah, that's that's going to be, shit, the, the ultimate goal and shit. Like, eventually, everything's going to come together and everything's going to work. And and if you keep pushing through, shit, you're going to be able to do whatever you want to, go wherever you want to, and have, live however you want to. Con number four, I mean, pro number four, um, shit, you, you, um, shit, you honestly, you get to chill, like, stuff be good, like, Everything is cool. Like, you can't complain about nothing and stuff sometimes. Like, it's, like, it's always going to be something to complain about and stuff when it comes to business. But it's like, you're going to become very appreciative and stuff from where you came from and, and um, your journeys and trials and tribulations and stuff. And at the end, it's like, that's one of the best things and stuff to just be able to just be able to have that peace of mind. Like, I really worked for this. Like, I wanted this bad and I achieved it. That's going to be one of the best pros ever to where it's like you always gonna think back about that first job you ever had i remember my first job was at sonic i was on roller skates busting my shit and now it's like i'm out here chilling and and yeah i worked for it it was a lot of trials and tribulations and stuff still isn't perfect i still have my ups and downs shit um i i had things that went left in my own businesses and shit everything might look good on the outside but sometimes i struggle too but it's like shit no matter how much i struggle it's always better than being that sonic shit shit having to listen to what somebody tell me to do shit i gotta get up at 3 a.m to be at work at four and, and now i'm working a four to fucking what is it a four to 12 something like that and it's just like i'm just grateful to just be here and just live life how i'm able to today versus where i was and pro number five Honestly, you you gonna have the freedom eventually to go retire your people that you love. Go be able to spend time with people that you love. Um, shit, if it's your mom, your wife, your brother, your dad, you gonna be able to retire your people, spend time with your people, and really just get to enjoy the real quality time. That's my that's my main goal for myself. My main um, find, that's the ultimate freedom to me to be able to really spend time with the family and the people that I love, and just be able to um, 
just really be able to just enjoy we you know we don't have a lot of time with our family and our loved ones we spend a lot of time being consumed by these work and these um doing all this just for these materialistic items people go to work every single day to pay for a mortgage and it's like that that mortgage might be two or three times what the rent would be if shit they just chill and just um shit lived in a downsized crib and just got to and, and they really just traded that that luxury for the time and the freedom and stuff with their kid with their kids or their family and stuff and it's like honestly time time is the best quality that you can spend with your loved ones and it's like no matter what you do and shit of course your mom's gonna be proud of you if you're able to go buy a lamborghini or some shit for her but at the end of the day your loved ones nine out of ten times they're gonna wish that they were able to spend more time with you not the lamborghini when when you die or when they die they're gonna wish that that y'all spent more time together versus spend the time for working for materialistic items that don't matter shit when you get buried as cliche as cliche as it sounds shit that lamborghini can't go in the casket with you bro they can't can't nobody go in the casket with you can't nothing come go in the casket with you so don't sit there stressing over these materialistic items and shit really spend time with the people that you can while you can and um honestly that's just where it's at and that's just five pros and the cons of running a seven figure business and um shit, everything is subjective everything is opinionated and i really appreciate everybody for tapping in you know came louis v on a uh, shirt today and now we out here sitting my enjoying my life we in a private building in mexico just chilling but it's all love, bro. Make sure y'all stay tuned, like, follow, subscribe, everything. Yeah.